Holy Spirit, he brought life into Jesus Christ. And even though Jesus was in the tomb, the stone, it was rolled away. And Jesus became alive, alive forevermore. We believe that, then we become a part of the body of Christ. Every part of the body of Christ is important. Every part is important. We can't say, oh, I don't need you. I don't want to be that part. No, no, no. Every part is important. Verse 14 to 20, I'm going to, it says, 14 says, human body have many, many parts. 15 says, the foot, maybe say, because I'm not a hand, I'm not a part of the body. But saying this will not stop the foot from being a part or a part of the body. Even though you say, oh, I'm not a part of the body, the Holy Spirit, he puts you in anyway. When you accept Jesus Christ, you become a part of the body of Christ. It doesn't matter what you want. God, he set it up already. You become a part of the body, no matter what. Okay? 16 says, The ear may be say, Because I'm not an eye, I'm not a part, a part of the body. But saying it, it doesn't stop the ear uh, from uh, becoming a part of the body. You still become a part of the body. 17, it says, if the whole body were an eye, wouldn't that be strange? The whole body is one eye. It will not be able to hear. If the whole body was an ear, you can't smell. So there's different, different parts for a reason. God has a reason for the different, different variety, okay? If each part of the body were the same part, that will be no body. It would just be one part, not a body. But truly God he put all the parts, each one of those parts in the body, God, he wanted that. It says, so then there are many, many parts, but only one body. Even though we're sitting, 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 different, different, some over here, some over there still we are one body many many people in this church right now but we are one body if we gossip 
about one person, we're gossiping about ourselves. You see it that way? Yes. If we treat a person bad, we're treating ourselves bad. And I know, I know, many, many people, they come to you and they say, your pastor this, your pastor that. I know. You say, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. You talking about me. Being like, no, 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 no. Not you, yeah, yeah. If you talking about my pastor, you talking about me. I'm a part of you. Don't let people talk about me. I don't allow people to talk about you. No, I say, wait, 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 wait. That's gossip. They're like, no, 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 I'm, I'm just inform. No, 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 no. You can't inform me. My people will inform me. Thank you. Bye. No. Don't let people talk about your brothers and sisters in Christ. Not in this place. You say, no. I don't want to hear that. Tell someone who wants the gossip. I don't. Amen? Facebook, 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 however you want to sign it. Facebook. Don't put your information on Facebook. Facebook, whatever you want to sign, whatever. <laughs> Face, Facebook. Yeah. I like, I prefer Facebook. <laughs> I like that, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Glasses in the way. Facebook. <laughs> I love that. See, wasn't that that was funny, right? I'm trying to make you people laugh. You guys, you guys, so, you guys, so serious. Look, laugh, funny. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, so we are who the body, come on, the body of Christ. <laughs> we are the church, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Christ is the head. We're the church. We're the body of Christ. We're believers. Jesus can use us. Amen. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where my uh where my slide? Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So Jesus, he takes the body of Christ and he uses it to the world other people on the earth. Amen? Jesus ministers to the people on earth through his body. Through you, and 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 you, and you, and you, and you, and to Mia, and you, and you,
even though you're sleeping and you 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 and see I'm making you laugh it's good you guys are so serious you like Each part or person needs the other parts or people. We need each other. Amen? Without another person, your goodness, it doesn't show up. Your goodness has to be tested. You can say, I'm a good person, but you live by yourself. You never leave your apartment or home, you stay. And yes, you're good in your apartment or your home, but you step outside your apartment or home and what happens? Other people who don't agree with you, who don't like you, they pop up, they come in your face and you have to deal with them. Are you still good? No, you like, <gasps> you like, what? Who you think you are? Uh, we create an attitude, we just like, <gasps> we like, God, who, who then? But goodness is tested. Your righteousness is tested. Amen? Oh. <laughs> Good, I did bad. You understand. I'm voicing and I'm signing. I'm doing two languages at one time. <laughs> All right, so one more. Okay, so here. It says, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 20, 21, 25. It says, the eye can't say to the hand, I, oh, I don't need you. The hair can't say to the foot, I don't need you. No, no, no. Those parts of the body, they seem to be weak. They're really necessary. And the parts of the body we think are less deserving are the parts which we give the most honor. We give special respect to the parts we want to hide. The more respectful parts our bodies need, no special care. But God, he put the body together. God, he made the body and he gave more honor to the parts of the body that need it okay it says so our body will not be divided can't divide it God wants the various parts to care for the same okay so we're to care for each other amen we are one say it we are one. Come on. We are one. And we are good. <laughs> I was saying bad. Sorry. All right. So together we are one. Look. Black, white, pink, yellow, purple, brown, whatever color. <laughs> Green, yes. 
whatever color, race, culture, we into one body. That body belongs to Jesus Christ, who is the head, who runs all of the body. Amen? If your head said, hands wiggle, and your toes, they wiggle, there's a problem. Right? <laughs> so, we have to be obedient to all that Jesus Christ, the church, the body of Christ. Amen? It's called obedience. Amen? Jesus Christ, he wants to be able at the end of time to present us to his father. We are Jesus Christ, what? Bride. Amen? Amen. We are the church. So, when, when people say, what church you attend, you say, OBC Deaf Church. But, when it says, the church of Christ, who is that? The believers. You are the church of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. If one part suffers, the whole body suffers. 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 Verse 26, 26 says, If one part of the body suffers, all the other parts suffer with it. Or, if one part of our body is honored, all the other parts are honored too. We need to begin to honor each other. When we honor e each other, even though you see wrong, 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 what do you forgive quickly? Why? Because if you are not honoring, if you're gossiping, you're destroying yourselves. You're destroying the body of Christ. Right? You understand? So we have to honor each other. Amen? Your challenge. God, he show you a need that someone in the body of Christ have? Can you look around and see? Do you know that a person in our church has a need? If you, if you know that, raise your hand. I know. You know of a person in our church who has a need. Mm -hmm. Right? Every one of us has a need. I have a need. I need people praying for me. Satan is attacking my health. Yeah. I need people praying for my health. My family my children, my wife. I need, I need, I have needs. So if you know, you first pray and then you ask God, what do I do, what do, what do for that person or 
family or group. What, what you want me to do. Amen? And then, when God tells you, then you obey and do it. Amen? All right. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, thank you, that you established before the foundation of the world that we would become a part of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ would die for us. That Jesus Christ would overcome for us. That everything you established in the beginning would not fail. But that we would overcome through the lamb that you sent. Thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for his, his body. Thank you. We ask that you will continue to show us your wonderful, great love. We thank you we bless you and honor you. Teach us to respect, love, honor each other in this place, in this body of Christ. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Now, we want to receive uh, communion today. Uh, so, the uh, first thing is you're going to examine yourselves. Why? Because you don't, you don't want Jesus to judge you, right? You want to judge yourselves. If you judge yourselves and ask for forgiveness, then Jesus, he, he doesn't have to do that. Amen? So you're going to examine yourselves first. And then ask God for, to forgive you for whatever. You don't have to tell us. Tell Jesus. Ask for forgiveness. And then become clean before him. And then receive the cup and the, uh, the bread. Amen? Amen. So it says, friend. Examine yourselves and pray. Verses 28 to 30. Look in your own heart before you eat the bread and drink the cup. Because all who eat the bread and drink the cup without re realizing the body eat and drink judgment against themselves. That is why many, many in your group are sick and weak and some of you have died it says take and eat verse 24 Jesus said oh it says Jesus he, he gave thanks to God uh, for the bread and the cup then Jesus, he broke the bread and he said, this is my body for you. Do this in remembrance, in remembrance of me. Then in verse 20, 25, it says, in the same way, after they ate, Jesus took the cup and he said, this cup is a new agreement that seals with the blood my death. When you drink this cup, remember me. Amen? So we're going to examine ourselves. Then 
we're going to together as the body of Christ we're going to drink and we're going to eat eat and drink remembering all that Jesus Christ he did finished on the cross